dominated way. There's this sense that any mixing between men and women is fraught with the potential for uh, evil to happen. Women have the status of children. By law, their husbands or fathers are their guardians. Some clerics give men a free hand to beat women. Quran, accusations later found to have been lies. The attack shocked Afghanistan and the world and started a wave of events never before seen in the capital. Unleashing massive protests, rage and demands for change in the streets, then setting her on fire before throwing her body in the river. Right before the assassination of the Iraqi model, there were actually three women who got assassinated as well. One of them is in the beauty line. The other one actually uh, got shot in the head of Basra, and uh, she's an activist as well. The whole world today is shocked with the death of the Iraqi model Tara Faris, and you might be surprised if I tell you that what happened to Tara Faris is an absolutely normal news to all the Iraqis and well expected by everyone now. Hello and welcome. Today we're making a documentary about feminism. Many women are getting abused in different countries, but especially Middle Eastern women are getting really abused. Tara Faris is our subject for today. A model, an Iraqi model, she was murdered in her own country because she chose her own lifestyle. She chose to be free, she chose to live the way she wants, but the society did not accept that and they shot her in her own car in Baghdad. So, we are here now to talk about the people, about their opinion, about feminism, and what they think about what happened to Tara Faris. Most of them agreed to join us, and a lot of them said no. Were they afraid to share their opinion, or do they not care? Most of people don't really care. If they have their own rights, if they have everything they need, they wouldn't care about what others are happening to. So today, we're making some interviews, and here we are. Hello. Hello. Can I have your name? My name is Haider. Hello. Salwa. Where are you from? Jordan, Morocco. I'm from Iran. Oh. I want to ask you, do you know about Tara Faris? Yes. What do you think about what happened to her? I think what happened to her was very tragic, as she is a very famous woman. And uh, first she said her opinion and what she wants in front of the world, uh, which uh, not all women do. I'm not sure of what happened to her. There's a lot of rumors of a lot of saying from that and this. But as the Minister of Interior uh, Affairs says in the, the last interview I heard on TV, that some extremists killed her. That's all I know. Horrible. Actions was very horrible, and it affects us as a, as a ladies that wanted to become something in the future. Um, Hello. Hello. Can I have your name? Uh, my name is Amalam Jad. Where are you from? I'm uh, from Sudan. Okay, so did you guys hear about Tara Faris? Okay. Yes. Okay, what do you think about what happened to her? It was, it was sad.
Feminism is basically someone who is an influencer and giving rights to women. So, uh, in my opinion, I think it's very uh, advantageous and it has many pros that could really make way for women all around the world. They have to have their own rights, they have to be more strong, uh, more confident, and they have to develop their future, become a strong lady. Hello. Hi. Can I have your name? My name is Zahid. Uh, my name is Mohammed. Where are you from? I'm from Bangladesh. Nice to meet you. My name is Nadia. Where are you from? Egypt. Okay, Nadia, what do you think about feminism? Feminism, I think it's a very good idea. It helps women be uh, emotionally supportive. We, with feminism, we tend to like you know help support each other as women. Us women are very complicated emotionally, unlike men. Feminism. Well. <laughs> According to me, the feminism is the right of women and men. Both should be equal, not like the men and women. It should be equal for everyone. Uh, feminism is a very international topic nowadays. Uh, lots of people have been talking and debating about it. So I am with feminism, but depends which type of feminism. Arguments and just because they want to prove what they what they need from this world to sure. to become more powerful. So, do you think they're the women are getting their equal rights? Uh, these days, uh, I don't think all of the women are getting equal rights. At the moment, no, not all of them. Well, it's in the process, but I don't think we're there yet. They're trying to get it, but they couldn't now. Uh, I can't say not everywhere, but in some places, in some countries, in, in some uh, families, they're getting equal right, but not everywhere. No, absolutely not. Uh, until this very day, we, stu we still don't get that same respect as men do. With equal rights, it's a bit difficult because men generally ruled everything throughout time whether it's in our personal life or work whatever it is in whatever country it is we still don't get the same equality as men does especially in the payment so even like men there are in lower positions in our like car uh, they still get paid more than we do which is which is really unfair, unfair. because even we work we work hard just like as they do mm -hmm. but we still don't get that same respect that same um, appreciation appreciation as men do so nowadays the world has become a place for women men to work in places so i think it's up to us as women to create that equality and not ask for the equality have you ever heard a story that was like abusing the woman the sad story you've heard actually it's very common uh, mainly the country i belong or the southeastern in the day the, uh, the side of the southeast asia where i belong it's very very common that the women are abused so it's just so many stories. Even in Malaysia also, you can see a lot of women get abused or beaten by family, boyfriend, husband. So it's just common everywhere. There is this woman in Sudan. She was abused by her husband. And then she was jailed after that. I heard just one time that there's a husband. He locked his wife um, and even his daughters in, in his own house. Like he chained them to, to chairs or something. Yeah, and he was beating them, abused them all the time. And this is one of the things, and especially the young girls because they were just like 10 to 8 years old. So, because she went out and seek help, she was jailed. She was jailed. Yeah. Mm. Do you think that like the man has the right to control his wife's or daughter's life? Absolutely not. No, no one has a right unless the father. Um, no, okay. Father usually know what's best for their wife or their family. So if he's controlling in a way to protect them, then absolutely. No one will control anyone's life 
unless they give them the power to do so. Whether Whatever country, whatever religion, whatever it is, you do not have the right to control a person just because you think that you do. No, that's not how it is. If you're controlling them out of love, then absolutely. But other than that, no. Even if it's a daughter, like once she's young, okay, her parents have the right to control her life. They have the right to tell her what to do and what not to do. Okay, not force her, but to teach her. Women in Middle East live in situations that are rather unique, with special challenges not presented in many other parts of the world. In particular, these women have throughout history experienced discriminations and have been subject to restrictions of their freedom and rights. Some of these practices are based on religious beliefs, but many of these limitations are cultural and emanated from tradition as well as religion. Tara Faris isn't the first victim nor the last. Women are still getting abused and killed in the name of rage crime. They all hope for a brighter future where they can live freely and peacefully and simply be more appreciated. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching everybody, if you like this video please share and subscribe to our channel and leave your comments under the video. Right. We hope the video has been a good learning experience for you guys and we hope that you've been able to understand the importance of treating women the right way and so by so doing your loved ones, your sisters, your wives will have better treatment from now and we hope that we can promote the growth of women in every aspect of their lives. Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.